In this video we'll briefly discuss what is hydroxyzine, and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, and contraindications and precautions. Hydroxyzine is an antihistamine medication. It competitively antagonizes histamine at the H1 receptors. And it also has anxiolytic and sedative actions, thought to be a result of CNS subcortical suppression. It is available as tablets and capsules, and also available as syrup and injection. Hydroxyzine is used for anxiety, preoperative sedation, nausea and vomiting, and pruritus caused by allergic conditions. The usual dose of hydroxyzine for anxiety for adults is 50 to 100 mg four times per day, and for preoperative sedation, 50 to 100 mg as a single dose, and for vomiting and pruritus, 25 mg three to four times per day. For acute anxiety and alcohol withdrawal, the usual dose is 50 to 100 mg every four to six hours, given intramuscular as needed. And the usual dose for pediatrics less than six years for anxiety and pruritus is 50 mg per day in divided doses. And for pediatrics older than six years, the usual dose is 50 to 100 mg per day in divided doses. And for preoperative sedation for pediatrics, the usual dose is 0.6 mg per kilogram as a single dose. Transient drowsiness and dry mouth occur frequently when the drug is taken intermittently. Most patients develop tolerance to these effects when the drug is taken continuously, particularly if the dosage is slowly increased over 7 to 10 days. Hydroxazine may also cause pain at intramuscular injection site. Avoid driving or performing other activities requiring mental alertness or that are potentially dangerous until response to medication is known. Also avoid alcohol and other CNS depressants such as opiate analgesics, barbiturates, and sedatives when taking this medication. Take sips of water frequently or chew sugarless gum if dry mouth occurs. And finally, avoid OTC medications unless approved by your healthcare provider. That's all for this video, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.